Hello everyone. Today I'll be just showing how I memorize uh, my cubes, uh, my MBLD cubes. So uh, uh, this is um, like a room. This is my first room. So um, like uh, for the past one year, I've been experimenting a lot on the debate of uh, real rooms versus artificial rooms or something like that. So um, basically, I personally prefer uh, real rooms. So like our own house or school or college, but then the question comes is uh, how can you attach the locus perfectly there? So uh, when you have an artificial room, the corner is quite well defined and like you can really make the own room. You can just alter the room quite easily. So um, whenever you are um, like blindfolded and you, are, you have to remember fast, uh, like and sh the things should stick. So the thing that you have to keep in mind is. Um, uh, how uh, how nicely you are choosing the locus and how well the object is interacting. So like if you choose this thing as a locus, um, well, what is happening is you can't have that many interactions with the object. The painting itself is not that clear and like that. But I, I for quite a few months, I choose this thing as a locus, but it didn't work out. So now uh, the next thing is, can you choose this kind of a thing as a locus? Um, again, uh, uh, like if there is an image of a person or something, you can't really associate it with the AC, and um, so like that, that's a problem. And uh, then you have the obvious kind of thing if you have Roman rooms which are full of bedrooms, so there will be a lot of beds. So, a bed, a strong enough locus, so like, yeah, it can be a, a strong enough locus because it's quite a wide area, and you spend almost like a one third of your life on a bed, so you really know what a bed really is. So, you can have interactive images here, but the more interactive images I generally have is. Below the bed, you know, as kids, we really like to hide below the bed, so that's how our memory becomes a little bit stronger when we are below the bed. Then um, I used to think, can this kind of thing be a locus? The floor itself, you know, like, uh, like can, can the floor be kind? Of, uh, can you have just things happening here, like people walking around here? So uh, it's a very weak locus if you have floor, uh, and I would really recommend it. So um, uh, yeah, try avoiding having floor. Next is uh, when you have some kind of a hidden kind of area as your locus. So like this is a balcony, you're going here, but then you don't know where you're exactly going. So uh, it's the hidden area right here. And that is also a really good kind of way of making locus. So if you're having an area that is just beyond the visualization of you, there's some kind of mystery, your brain is a little bit more attentive and that kind of locus really works out. So in a room, you have to just find of contrastive and nice places. And the places that I will choose is one, uh, two, and most probably kind of three. And yeah, this are the kind of locus. So for a three BA to solve, generally uh, for safe safe side, I go for four loci. But um, if you are smart enough, you can put it in two or three loci. And um, like uh, generally, the problem when you have least less loci, uh, like if you have two or two or three loci, the problem generally comes is. Uh, you can miss out on information. Suppose you have A, N, F kind of thing. So you'll remember A, N here. And this was some kind of this thing going to the buffer. Like this is the last letter of the cycle. If you have three letters stuck here, there's a chances you might forget F. You will remember A, N, N. So that's why you really need to weigh and re-weigh. So like, um, uh, you know, uh, like our brain works in such a way that each node of the brain should get equal weight. So like um, whenever you are reviewing a room, you have to make sure that each area has having an import, uh, like an almost equal kind of weight. Like um, weight is not in the sense the heaviness. It's just the kind of, it's not even importance. It's weight is some kind of a thing that links up everything. So that's the kind of weight concept that exists. and. That's why this Roman rooms or the method of loci is very intuitive kind of thing. So weights are really important. 